Hey guys, today I will be showing you a few things that you probably missed at the EA Play events and live streams about Battlefront 2. Now, I took all this footage from Star Wars Battlefront updates and the overlaying gameplay from IGN. Their links will be in the description below, including the full live stream that I got this footage from. Now, let's get into it. Uh, <laughs> so, what can you say about those? <laughs> um, I love Droidicas. Um, they are some of my favorite characters in the in the the, the, the galaxy. Uh, it's always going to be like the the, the the best part and also the worst part of working on Star Wars is that we do not define the world that we're, we're building. It's already defined for us and it's been defined for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things that, you know, some people will want and some people will want something else and some people will be re really upset when they see our final hero and villain rosters and some people will think this is spot on. And But, but we, we do know there's always going to be more that we can add. So. You know, like it, it's tricky and it, it's the worst part when like, you know, certain things will not make it in for launch. However, everything post launch will be free. Yeah. Uh, and um, it's, it's just if, if the community rallies around certain characters, certain planets, certain, you know, whatever they want, then we will try to bring it to them as much as quickly as we can, as much as we can. And it, that's just one of those things. Uh, yeah. You know, I can't. I'm not gonna go out and say exactly what's gonna be in for launch or not. Like it's a little early still, but uh, the Droid game in particular, uh, we love it. Uh, it's it's tricky because you know it's a very, it's a very <laughs> unique thing with uh, you know it, 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 it can foot plant and it also needs to roll up into a ball and, and it's it's um, we'll see we'll mm -hmm. see what, how much we can get. But uh, I, I I think. You know, this Battlefront 2 is very much a a statement of... Alright, so the first thing, Droidicas. As stated here by Dennis Braunfeld, the re lead designer of Star Wars Battlefront, he says he'd like to see and hope that they'd get in the game. And I'd be very satisfied by just even seeing one. Now gameplay-wise, I think they'd work great with the bit of gameplay that they've showed us from Battlefront 2. Constantly upgrading work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they wanted to see some updated rolling mechanics. That oh, yeah. Roll yeah, I'm going to make sure to roll the next game. Okay, so that's something you notice. Now the roll is actually to escape and not to roll around so quick that people can't hit you and they shoot. And you can't fire during rolling either. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's like people, there's a lot of people watching. Um, oh, wait, here's the combat roll, by the way. This is how it looks. So as you can see, it's slower uh, than the, in the previous game, and you can also do it in all directions, right? You can do it backwards. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, here the camera is a bit too close. You can see here. Um, so that what? And yeah, let's see if I, what happens if I try to shoot, and then yeah, yeah, like perfect. You can't actually roll sideways and just shoot because that's how kind of how it looks in at least on PC right now. People just roll sideways and shoot each other. Yeah, at, at the same time, even though it's like, how does a B1 Battle Roy manage to roll? Mm. Uh, it's such a legacy and, and it's been part of Battlefront uh, from the beginning. And so we felt really strongly that battle, like rolling needs to be a thing. Mm -hmm. That's what you do uh, when you play Battlefront. And so we just make sure that we improve it and, and made it as good as we can. Updated rolling mechanics. This I am so happy about. Being able to roll in all directions will make the game look and feel a lot smoother in the hands of the player, especially if it doesn't lag. Hopefully we won't have that problem for console players in the next game, because you guys know how much I love rolling. Like for each era will be spawning in the I'm not sure really what it means with that question. <laughs> there will be more heroes that you can play than uh, the ones we're playing right now. And there will be you will be able to play with more than just two active heroes at any point too. Okay, on each team? Yeah. Ooh, do you have any idea about the cap? Like, so to make sure it's not like 50% heroes and... Uh... It will probably never be 50% heroes, no. at least not in Galactic Assault. Um, but there will be more than, than 
two on either side. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's in the old game that would be so annoying, but here it's fine because they they die pretty quickly if you don't if you aren't careful. Multiple heroes that are active at the same time in four-player game modes. Now that's what I wanted to hear. The only way in Battlefront to get multiple heroes in a Walker Assault match is by glitching the game. I believe it will bring a super fun element to the game. It's in details. Sure. Uh, yeah, there's been some conversations about uh, the fault in third person in particular. Mm. Uh, we are doing constant improvements to the third person camera. This is not the final one that we're okay. seeing. Uh, we'll continue to iterate, make sure that it feels, uh, you know, really good. Uh, are you going to have the uh, the field of view slider like in the previous game, yeah. BC? Yeah. And uh, the thing, I, I think it's not available on consoles. Is, this, is that going to change for this game, or is it still only for PC? I'll have to get back to you on okay. that one. I don't know it's the exact specifics on the functions, but uh, in terms of how the 3D camera looks, it's uh, you know it's it, it's getting there. I mm -hmm. think I think it's much better than it was, uh, but there's always work you can continue to do to it. it it's tricky, uh, especially when. We're one of the few games that actually support both first person and third person. Oh yeah, that's true. And that's that's. Uh, you know. For those who don't know what an FOV slider is, what it does is it makes you able to change your field of view. This is what it looks like when it's maxed out. Looks crazy, right? Well, the slider will make you able to adjust it to your personal preference. This, along with rolling, are the few things that I'd love to see in this game. Um, and that's one thing I love about so far about the class system that. Use melee. Oh what? Oh it's. Ah, uh, it's not. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. The flame trooper, trooper <laughs> No, the uh, the flamethrower will be on Boba Fett's melee but Okay, cool. It wasn't working for this. So. Boba Fett's melee becoming a flamethrower. Now I think this will be great as long as they make it really good, like really powerful. I mean, a good 10 foot spray of spreading fire is what I mean. Nice flank. Come on. Oh my god, my, my aim. Oh, I got him. There we go. <laughs> so, we should talk a little bit about uh, the overheat mechanic potentially. Oh, yeah. Um, so, weapons still overheat. However, you can always uh, perform a manual cooling. Which oh. Yeah, I'll show. Wait, I'm gonna. I can do that. If you can, if you will survive, use the combat shield. I'm gonna take, get behind cover here and then use it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, if I shoot, like, yeah, now it goes up, and then if I wait, it actually takes a while for it to go down if I don't do it manually. Yeah, much longer than than previously. Longer yeah, so let's see. Can, yeah, yeah. If you, if you uh, go up again and then use your manual. Pull and down. boom, there we go. Yeah, then you can't fire because it's mm -hmm. pulling down. Uh, so it's sort of like. I know I, I referred to, someone asked about reload and then overheat uh, on Twitter at one point and I mm -hmm. said kind of both. Mm -hmm. So this is like one way of, you can manually cool down your weapon with and it performs like, it's, like it, it is very close to just reloading, mm -hmm. I guess, because you can trigger it yourself. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna just sh it. straight shoot up, no, okay, so, and yeah, and then if I press that one... Yeah, so that was the... Uh, the there's two things that you can get with your cooldown mini game there. Uh, the one you pressed was the safe option, mm -hmm. which is, you know, like, well, the, the safest one is just to wait until it cools down entirely. Uh, but then you can decide to, to go with the medium safe option, which is, uh, yeah, then it's just, uh, you can get it back to normal and you can yeah. continue fire. Let's see if I, as long as I don't fail. There it should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah the one, then now you can fire as much as you can for a brief amount, of, brief period without it uh, overheating at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just another part of making sure the blaster combat feels deeper, feels like there's a larger skill gap between players, and there are things that you can do to really become quite good at, uh, at just handling the blaster. Yeah, and something I can note that I, that I noticed uh, when playing is that. Like the specialist, if you use the cooling flash, it goes down really quickly. Whereas if you, oops, oh, come on, oh, nice. Uh, whereas if you, the heavy takes a lot longer to go down. So it's, I'm assuming you're gonna tweak, because that's another thing that makes the blasters feel a lot different to each other. Yep. Um, totally. 
I like the updated and more complex overheat slash reload system. Because it not only gives you different options to suit the fight you are playing, but it rewards the better players with a better chance of getting more kills or even just winning a gunfight. Um, the fact the bomb is not returning in the way that it was in Battlefront 1. Okay. I guess this is like the battle command is a back the bomb you throw off from your body, I guess you could say. Oh, well, not, it's not a back the bomb, but it has a healing effect. Um, oh, we, oh, there we go. Well, it's not, it doesn't have a healing effect necessarily. It has a health bonus effect in that. Even if you're down, if you're at 30 health and someone does a battle command, it will just give you 50 additional health, no matter what. Oh, okay. So oh, wait, so it doesn't trigger the quick uh, regeneration for... Get triggered, all you back to haters. I can't wait to see all of this added in the next game. I think it will come out great even with the nerf. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy and learn something new. Also, make sure to check out Battlefront Updates and his full hour-long live stream where I got all this footage from, except for the in-between cutscenes by IGN. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.